Yeah, was good. I'm bleak, and this is a guide to remove remote play connected. So as you can see on the screen, there's remote play connected. To remove it, you gotta do a couple of things. So everything is set up here. I am. Let's go to my first account. There we go. So there it is. Remote play connected. I'm on my first account. Uh, so what I'll be doing is. You will go to rest mode. Once you go to rest mode, your PS5 will be blinking an orange light. During that orange light, you have to reconnect the PlayStation through the remote app, the remote play app. Uh, once you do that, the you will hear the noise, the beeping noise that the PlayStation turns back on. Once you hear that, you press the PlayStation button on your controller and it will turn the PS5 back on without the remote play connected on your screen. So let's do that. So everything is set up. Make sure that's your first step. You get the remote play connected on your screen. You go into rest mode. You see the app will crash. Once it crashes, well, crack disconnects. Press OK. Oh shit, I'm on the wrong screen. Press OK and connect immediately. Give it a minute. Yeah, you hear the beep. Press your controller. And there it is. Oh, wait. I gotta change account. Switch users. There it is. No remote play. It's gone. So the most important step here is when you enter rest mode, um, you have to reconnect while the PlayStation 5 is blinking the orange lights to go into rest mode. Then once you reconnect it, you hear your PS5 you do the beeping sound. You press the controller to turn your PlayStation on. So see, there's no cable and I'm moving it. Uh, what does that say? Yeah, so <clears throat> you press the controller PlayStation button after the beep. Don't wait too long. Don't wait at all. Once you hear it, just press it. And that's it. Remote play gone. If this helped you, make sure to leave a like. And yeah, have a good one. Peace.